Now to a David Goldstein investigation. The Mayor's Fund of LA has taken in tens of millions of dollars since the start of the pandemic, but where is that money going? Here's what David found out. The fund took in 10 times more last year than in previous years as businesses and individuals pony up to help. But critics wonder if this could be a way to curry favor with the mayor. We raised $66 million from you through the Mayor's Fund for Los Angeles. Mayor Eric Garcetti announced the record-breaking haul. The Mayor's Fund of L.A., a 501c3 charitable organization, took in $66 million last year and counting. I'm never going to stop asking to give a little more. Why was the Mayor's Fund created? Well, the Mayor's Fund was created to fill gaps where government couldn't. Youssef Rabba, the Mayor's Fund, says it's helped 200,000 people by providing food for seniors, emergency child care, and $36 million distributed through the Angelino card directly to those in need. It was not designed with a pandemic like this in mind, um, but we're certainly glad that it was around when this pandemic hit because it turned out to be nimble and agile and innovative enough to respond to the challenge of COVID-19. But are donors contributing out of the goodness of their hearts, or could there be another reason? This is a loophole, right? Yeah, I mean, I think you can absolutely see this as a loophole around contribution limits. Loyola Law School professor Jessica Levinson served as president of the L.A. Ethics Commission. These funds, like the Mayor's Fund, provide a place for big donors to give big money. And that's entirely legal, but you know, a lot of people can view this as a loophole around contribution limits. That's because whereas donors to the mayor's fund can give whatever they want, actual campaign contributions to the mayor or any elected official have strict limits. And we found some of the donors to the fund do business with the city. That's perfectly legal, but can donating to the fund put a donor in good graces? It allows for people to give big donations. Essentially, you're saying, I hope you remember me and I hope you remember me fondly when, uh, you know, potentially when there's an issue that comes up. But Rob says the fund operates independently of the city and whatever motivation donors have to give has nothing to do with the charity. We have no role in any business that they do. Uh, our only interactions are charitable. Um, if they have business discussions, those are with other people. And those discussions are hard to track down if indeed they do exist. The fund is modeled after one in New York City, now being copied in other cities across the country. I'm David Goldstein, CBS 2 News.